Thanks, Patrick. You know, many of us are aware of the Kunta Kinte Memorial Site in Annapolis. Now our capital city is acknowledged as a historic port for the African slave trade. WMER 2 News' John Harris shows us how the youth can learn from this site. African-American leaders in Annapolis announced our capital city will be a port marker town that will make Annapolis a site of memory. Captured Africans after the journey where they step on land for the first time is a site of memory. This designation was endorsed by the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. When slaves were brought to North America, they were stripped of their African clothes and names and given Americanized names and attire. When we came here, we lost all of our heritage, the drums, our clothing. Now it's time to go back and retrieve that history to share with the youth. We are the descendants. Annapolis will be one of 43 port marker towns in North America. There are two million Africans that died at sea. The purpose of this site is to educate residents and visitors about Annapolis's connection and relevance to national and global history. Um, and this city embraces that history because it's, it's the truth and when you understand the truth, you really become a better society. This is where the port markers will be at the end of the city dock. They expect to be installed with about a month, a month and a half. These markers range from New Hampshire to Texas in the United States. In Annapolis, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.